thinning hair. I asked some of my Instagram followers to open up and be honest about why buying a treatment is so important to them. So let's look at the Shabazz. When I wash it, I brush it, I comb it, it just keeps falling out more and more. It's getting really embarrassing. So she's embarrassed, and I hear that phrase quite a bit. Let's look at Lori. When I take a shower, I get so upset because when I look in the drain, it's full of my hair, and I'm not really sure how much is left on my head. So Lori and Shabbat aren't alone. In fact, there are 30 million of you who have thinning hair, and there's a lot of emotion that I always hear about this, but there's some signs too, and we're gonna stay on top of that science. There's a game-changing opportunity out there in at-home treatments, and there's a brand new non-invasive procedure that is making headlines. Dr. Sejal Shah is here. She's a board-certified dermatologist who treats patients with thinning hair. Also joining us, uh, Christine, Shivas, and Lori. Thanks for all being part of this little experiment here. They're trying the newest breakthroughs for thinning hair. I'm talking about at-home laser treatments. They come in a comb form, in a band form, very stylish, by the way, and there's a cap <laughs> form. And, and Dr. Shah, folks have heard of laser therapies for different uses, but this looks very futuristic. Do they work, and how safe are they? So I get asked all the time, are they safe? Are they gonna penetrate to my brain? Are they gonna cause cancer? And no, these devices are absolutely safe. They've actually been cleared by the FDA. We've had laser treatment for hair growth for many years. But what's new is that we now have home devices, and that's the breakthrough. You can do these treatments in the comfort of your own home. So could you walk us through a couple? I'm curious, like this one's sure. beeping away. It sounds like a, di a time bomb. Yeah, see the <laughs> sure. inside is bar for one second. I know you don't want to give it up at all, oh. do you? <laughs> so this is the comb, and as you can see, there are these teeth here. In between is the laser diodes. Why the comb is great is it's good for women who still have a little bit of thickness to their hair because it helps separate. The beeping tells you when to move the device. So uh -huh. it's also good for women who have thinning all over because you can really use the comb all over the scalp to okay. all the areas. So yeah, I know you want that back. Yes. You grasp it. <laughs> all right. How about, how about this uh, sort of uniquely Star Warsy approach? So this is the laser band, and this is actually one of the newest devices on the market. So similar to the comb, it's got the teeth. Mm -hmm and in between are all the laser diodes. Oh, each of these is a laser? Each of these yes. little? Yes, oh. each of these little diodes a is a laser. Them. Yeah, there's about 82 here. Mm. So the way that this device works is, I don't know what's it turning on. Yeah, well, there, there it is, go. oh my goodness, bright. So you place it right on the head like a headband, yeah. and. You can sort of see it there, yeah. And basically, every you okay 30 under seconds. There? Yes. <laughs> every if you feel intense pain, let me know. Well. <laughs> every 30 seconds, it gets moved. So again, it's good for women with thicker hair, but thinning mainly on the top and the crown area. All right, you guys keep going at that. I'll massage you. It's like a spa treatment. <laughs> now, and this stylish black hat, what's really going on so here? So this is called the capillus, and it is a cap. Oh, my goodness. And there are all that. the laser diodes in there. There's lots of them. It's like being a discotheque. Yes, exactly. You could dance to this thing. <laughs> But, as you see, there are no teeth here. So it's better for women who have thinning that's limited to the top of the scalp because that's the only areas that it covers. Also for women that have quite thin hair. So I'm curious about all these treatments, and I have been for a long time. So I, I actually went out and started looking. And so here's a photo I want to show you of a woman who used the at-home laser for four months. That's the same woman. The one on the left before, obviously, and the one on the right is a huge difference. Do you think so? Yes. Would you be happy with a result like that? I would be very happy. <laughs> You're almost demanding of it. All right, so we're going to send, if you're willing to do this little experiment with me, I'll send each of you home with the device you're holding, mm -hmm. which has been customized for you. Great. Try it out, but you got to promise to give me some feedback on it. So I want to know for our audience if it really did work for you. Okay. And you use it. Yeah. How often do they have to use it? So all the devices are about three times a week. Um, the comb, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get through the whole scalp. The band is actually only 90 seconds. Well, get that off there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a half hour. Yeah, take care of that thing, but you, you, you mentioned 90 seconds already. Okay, and look, a lot of you are looking for inexpensive at-home solutions, and I get it. So I'm very excited about a new twist on the gold standard of thinning hair. This is what most of us as physicians actually recommend to all of you. And there's a big, big change in this that now you can obtain something that you couldn't before over the counter. It is? Minoxidil 5% for women. So over the past year, the FDA approved minoxidil 5% for women. We've always had the 2%, but now we have the 5%. Doctors have been using the 5% off-label for years, 
but now we know that it's safe so women can comfortably use it. And as you mentioned, it is still the gold standard, so it's usually the first treatment that I do recommend, and we continue it while we're doing other therapies. All right, exactly. and this really is the gold standard. It's been used for many years, and doctors are very happy with this. All right, Dr. Shah, thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. And joining us is plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Ewan to tell us about the newest thinning hair procedure that's making a lot of headlines. You've probably or oh, you should have, I hope, heard of the word P, uh, the, the acronym PRP. It's plasma-rich plasma. -rich plasma. Uh, I'm sorry, platelet-rich plasma, and it's been used for orthopedic injuries. Professional athletes use it. But you think this is a great breakthrough for women who have thinning hair. Yeah, and, and prior to using PRP, really the most effective way to regrow thinning hair was surgery, hair transplant surgery. But it's a couple-hour operation, and honestly, a lot of women, most women, aren't good candidates for it. So PRP is safe, the procedure is easy to tolerate, typically takes less than an hour or so, and doctors are performing it every three to four months, seeing maximal results about six to 12 months. So walk us through how it's done. Okay, so you start by drawing blood from a person's arm into a specialized vial. And that vial then is placed into a centrifuge. And that centrifuge is then spun. And when it spins that blood, it separates the red blood cells from the platelets and the plasma. And the platelets are chock full of growth factors. Those growth factors are then injected into the scalp. Ooh. And when they surround those inactive hair follicles, they'll cause them to then change into a, into a growth factor, growth phase. And they start really growing out and you get thicker hair. And it works well. So far the early studies are, are good, but it's brand new. This is a treatment that's only been used for probably about the last year or so. So we have a guest who's actually been getting the treatments. Faye's joining us. And I'm going to show you some, some footage of her getting her PRP treatments. The first one was five months ago. Yes. And, and here you are. Please tell me that this is not as painful as it looks. He, he, Dr. Ewan's injecting this deep into your scalp, it looks like. Is actually, that... I had a Valium, so it kind of took the edge off. Oh, you did have a Valium? Yes. You do it... that normally or just for the procedure? Just for the procedure. Okay. <laughs> It was well worth it. All right, so I see the physician there helping you out uh, and put, injecting it around the areas that you probably have the thinning. And um, now the, your hairline, this is an image of it, if I can show everybody, from five months ago. And uh, I can, if I can put you next to that, that is remarkable. So what do you think? I'm just ecstatic. I mean, after the second treatment, I washed my hair. Before then, I'd have to braid it, put it in several braids, because after combing it, I wouldn't be able to, or after washing it, I would be, wouldn't be able to get the comb through it. Mm. I washed my hair on Wednesday, no braids, got the comb through it, no hair, hardly any hair came out. I was ecstatic. I was in tears. I was just so happy. And this is the first I've had my hair down in maybe three years. I'm so so I'm just... You look fantastic. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Well, women are suffering all the time over this. I know it's difficult, and I'm so happy when the technologies that actually give you something of meaning that really do make your life a little easier for you to live. Right. And I found the doctor on your show. Oh, you did? Yes, Dr. Bernstein and Dr. Shaw yeah, on your show. They're wonderful physicians, and I do trust them with my friends as well. Bless you. I'm very happy for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.